Oilers postgame following a 5-2 victory over the Bonneville Pontiacs here on Friday night from the Centennial Arena. Joining me now is the first star of the hockey game, number two, Cade Turner. Cade, fantastic hockey game for yourself and the and the team. Big defensive effort, something that obviously you guys are preaching in that dressing room is defense first. Yeah, we're kind of just focused on being desperate, kind of focused on keeping their score low, and we're a team that can score. That's usually usually ends up pretty good. Well, we were talking about the block shots and how many you guys pull off inside the last minutes of these hockey games and it seems as though everybody's on board with blocking shots and that's tough to do with this team all buying into one mindset yeah everybody's starting to buy in it's really good for us we're kind of starting to block shots being desperate just keeping it simple in the d zone getting pucks out it's been working talk about your game a little bit goal and assists you do find yourself up on a partial breakaway there in the first period what did you see that made you jump up into the rush like that and then ultimately finish the goal off yeah, it was kind of Spack was kind of just by himself, so I went wide, and he made a really good play to just put it in an area, and I fortunately I had speed to skate into it. Special teams has been getting better for you guys. Penalty kill, yeah, you gave up one here tonight, but a weird bounce. Keeping teams to the outside, obviously that's a, a key focal point for you guys is good special teams. Yeah, that's kind of a, the identity of our team, just work hard. Work hard in the D zone, block shots, be desperate, and that's kind of what you need to do on the PK to kill Max Heisey comes in, gets hardest working forward. It seems as though it's been a revolving door of affiliated players for you guys this year. Obviously, you guys now, those guys roll into the room, and they're welcome with open arms, and they're just one of the guys now at this point in the season. Yeah, those two guys are unreal for us. They just fit in right away, and they work their bags off and just go. They've been unreal. Black Falls tomorrow, last one here for you. They lose here tonight, so you guys now sit four points up on them. Talk about the importance of that game and what it is going to take to beat the Bulldogs again and ultimately climb up six points on them in the standings. Yeah, it's a huge game tomorrow. we got to do what we did tonight, just kind of lock down the D zone, focus on their score, keeping it low, and we'll be fine. Cade, fantastic game. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Joined now here by assistant coach Reed Natowich. Reed. Big win tonight coming off the road trip and back here at home. That's eight in a row at home. You guys are continuing to roll here at the Centennial Arena. Talk about tonight's game and the effort from your guys for the full 60 minutes. Like, I think, you know, looking at the games that we've played them prior, uh, our biggest thing heading into it, we've played them twice and we've given up too many goals, right? Ten between those first two games. So today our mindset heading in was, you know, no matter what our score ends up, we just need to make sure that we focus on theirs. And that's desperation, um, defensively managing the D zone, making sure we're heavy, aggressive with our pressure. Uh, but then also, like, I thought what was really cool tonight was how tenacious we were on the four check. Uh, you know, when plays did go negative and things started coming back, we had guys step up to be aggressive, break up plays on the back check. Um, so I think all around and all zones, our defensive play was what brought us success. Another strong defensive effort, like you guys said, and that's a big key to your guys' success throughout the regular season. And you had to do it again here tonight, and we set it up in the booth there. Watch how many times they block shots here with this empty net or even in the dire moments. And again, it was four or five plus, and those are big key moments that you guys do that. Is that something you guys really push on your players? Well, it's, it's one of those ones where, yeah, if, if, if that puck's in front of you, you need to be accountable and you need to make sure that you bail people out. If shots are coming off, right, that's our job to make sure that we're fronting them. And like you said, a lot of those moments, right, this game could have went a complete different way if we didn't have guys uh, being desperate in those situations. And that's what people like. That's what fans want. That's what scouts want, right? And it's something that if these guys want to continue to pursue um, their hockey career, it's something that they need to be willing to do. And I thought they did it well tonight well last one for you it's good news for you as well black falls loses here tonight they come in tomorrow they're going to be guns ablazing after a loss tonight now you guys are up four points talk about the importance of that game and maybe taking a bigger lead here on the bulldogs in the standings that, that's the biggest thing right like obviously they they're not going to be happy with the fate that they uh they had tonight so they are going to be desperate hungry and they're really uh you know they're a strong team uh we need to make sure that we manage stay out of the box right their power play is good and then same type of idea just regards to our defensive play right if we if we take some plays with regards from tonight the four check or back checks our our desperation our blocking shots uh we can set our up positively. Reed, as always, thanks for the time and best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.